Hello, future Jenny. Jenny, I'm going to show you how to take care of that beautiful, beautiful dinosaur. Well, first things first, I'll show you where all of his food is. So this is his food. This right here is treats. This is what, if, if you don't, don't feed this to him at all, it, like, not often at all. These are just maggots. That's what they, that's what they are. You don't want to feed those too often because if he if he if he eats on those too often, he will actually get addicted to those, and it's like a drug. So he can eat them though; they're very healthy, but they're very fattening too, like a dessert. I'm gonna show you his mealworms too. Something else you can feed him, which this is a daily thing you can give him, or whenever you're over. So I'll show you what they look like. So this right here is a mealworm. And you could feed that to him. I, I, I feed around four or five of these a, to him a day. And he loves them. I'll show, you how, I'll show you basically how to do it since he's already out. So, usually what, is what I do. Is I just open up the tank and it's just pretty simple. I just put it in front of his face. And then she, and then she eats it. It's it's very it's very simple. But whenever you're over and you're going to feed him, the first thing you want to want to do is uh, feed him doobie roaches, which I'll show you how to do all that. So doobie roaches are in this container right here. Uh, let me see if there's any in here though. Uh, nothing alive. This is, I'm, I'm making this video so you can come back in time to come look at this if you need to. Oh wait, that's already, that's an empty one too. I'm making this video though so you can come back and, and come look at this if you need help. But you can always text me or call me or anything. But, go to this little egg carton and you'll see roaches. I usually, I, don't, I hate touching them because they kind of creep me out. I have... I have a pair of tongs, and they usually sit up right up here, right up here on top of the tank, and then cause that's that's just where I put them. You can put them wherever you want, though, as long as you remember where they're at. But you just come on the side, you just grab them, you put them in that little container right there, and I'll show you how to feed that to them. So always make sure there's a little bit of white powder in there, and then you're just gonna want to shake the doobie roach in there, and then it should get a little bit of white on them, which is probably not on them, but because I don't have enough calcium. And you're just going to want to come right in front of his face, like this. Just watch your fingers, though, because she, she will bite your fingers. And then, you just do that. And then you do that. I'm not forcing you to feed him a lot of doobie roaches, because I honestly hate feeding them. Because they're kind of disgusting, and they kind of take a long time to catch and everything. But... Just feed, just feed them like three or four of these, not many, and then four or five of the mealworms. I'll get you all the food you need and everything, just so you can keep track of everything. I mean, doobie roaches are very healthy for him, so just try to feed him as many as you can. Don't give him more than seven or eight of them, though. If they're really tiny, give him, give him as much as as you as you think he'll need. I mean, as long as he eats a little bit, he's fine, because his tail is so big, he can use that for calcium. Or he can use that for an extra food source. So that's where all of his food's gonna be. These mealworms might end up in the fridge, and I'll show you. I'll show you in just a second. But another thing you're gonna do is this is reptile calcium. This is so his bones don't basically rot, or whatever they call it. But what you're gonna to want to do is just. So this is his calcium bowl, the one that he's stepping in right now. And leopard geckos are so smart that they can know when. They don't have enough calcium or enough nutrients. And this this put on all of his food, basically, just a little bit. His meal, I really don't put them on. I just give them to him as doobie roaches. But as long as you're doing this right here, don't worry about it too much on the on the food. But what you're going to want to do is, I got there's a little scoop in here. Just just get, just get a little bit. I mean, it's kind of hard to see, I know. Just get about that much. Put it inside of his little thing. And then he'll have calcium for... You know, if he, if he decides he needs some. 
And then the last thing you really need to remember is, it's, it's very simple, it's not going to be hard at all. Um, the last thing you're going to need to remember is giving him water, which I just cleaned out his tank so he has no water right now. But there's a spray bottle right next to the frog tank right here. And it's what I always do is I just take off the lid of the spray bottle. And then it's one side of his tank. And don't fill up the water dishes completely. Just, I mean, halfway full is good. That one you can basically fill up. But on this one, he's going to go inside this to go, you know, if you need to bath. Don't fill it up a whole lot. Just, just a little bit. Just to show you. If I were to stick my finger in there, there's my nail. It, it, it goes about to the white part. So, I mean, you don't got to fill it too deep. Don't go all the way to the top because he, he could drown in it. So, that's really that's really all you need to do. Um, if he doesn't go to the bathroom for a few days, like three or four or maybe even five days, just let me know. But... Just let me know every time he's go to the bathroom too, because it's always because he's had problems going to the bathroom in the past. He gets impacted too, sometimes. But it's been a long time since he's been impacted, so I don't think you'll have to worry. And the other thing I like to do though, so he can get water too, is I just usually he's in this hide right here. This hide might be moved probably back in this corner. I just rearranged his tank for a little bit just to see if he'd like it, but I don't think he likes it too much because he's moving around a lot. But that's if he's hanging out in there, he's getting a good drop of deuce. But just just give it a little bit of water in there. Do it on the glass. You know, do it like that. You know, kind of give him some water. Make sure there's like little water droplets everywhere so he can go drink it off the glass, whatever. Yep, there she is. Don't be scared of her though. She's she's a sweet lizard. She won't she won't hurt you. That's really all you need to worry about with Leo. Leo is the Leo is really easy, and the frogs are going to be even easier. <coughs> the one thing you have to do with the frogs is there's Flipper, there's Hermit, and there's little Hot Devon's frog. Just all you want to do is make sure he's got water in in their water dishes. Again, don't fill it all the way to the top because frogs can drown just as much as any other, anything else can. <coughs> and I'm putting the calcium. Back in here, and the tongs are right here. <clears throat> but you're just going to want to mist down the tank a little bit. Give him some water. But every time you leave, make sure they all have, you know, water, bowls, and spool, and all that. And before you leave, just mist down their tanks. Um, that's really about it. And don't be scared to mist down the frogs tank a lot I mean don't don't be scared I mean you can I miss it down a little bit I mean you 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 can spray this thing down as much as you want just make sure every wall basically has water on it make sure the soil is it looks all wet because um, they absorb it through their skin they're not they I mean they'll go in the bath the the water bowl but just make sure it's always full for them so they can always go get water that way too um, yeah, that's all. That's really all you need to know. The food's right here for Leo. the The frogs will not eat any of that. Um, if you if you feel like you want to, you can feed him one maggot. Don't you? You could probably feed him like one a week. I mean, you don't you don't feed him a lot. It's like a dessert for us. So as long as that's really all you need to do, though, just make sure the frogs always have a little bit of crickets. Um camera will not focus on them but just make sure they always have crickets and that should be that is it that's the only thing you gotta worry about is basically water is really the only thing you need to worry about leo he honestly doesn't need to be fed but it's better for him to be fed because all that huge tail he's got will actually go down because he's not eating a lot which you which you already know so um that's about it thank you for watching them bye bye